what's up y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is desiree and if you're new here thank you for stopping by i greatly appreciate it and this is going to be my first weekly vlog or vlog video vlog anything of 2024 and yeah i'm super excited and if i haven't already told y'all on a video or on camera happy new year i hope you all are having a great start to 2024 i know that i am uh last week was such a good week to just start 2024 off and i'm just so grateful feeling so blessed i'm feeling really motivated for 2024, I feel like this is really going to be a year of continual growth and elevation like never before. And I'm just super excited. I'm really, really, really super excited for 2024. So today is January the 8th. Today is Monday. And I'm not working today. I'm off. But I'm working for the next three days. And so what I'm about to do is get me a cup of coffee, go upstairs and answer work emails. I've been off of work for like two no i've been off of work for three weeks now chow i'm like i forgot how to work like yeah what is my job what is my password like what what, what am i supposed to do <laughs> so it has been a, it's been a while since i have been in work mode so i'm gonna pop up my to-do list for today it's kind of short i don't know if i'm gonna get to everything but the main thing that i did accomplish that i'm really proud of and i got my butt out of bed and i went to the gym so i can check that off my to-do list and so now i'm just gonna try to answer some emails and then my sister and i are gonna go to our favorite mexican restaurant in napa to get us some some mexican food child because we love mexican food and we love us some chips and dip and salsa and guacamole you know so i'm just gonna wait until she get home but my goal before we go to lunch is to answer emails and to create a to-do list for just like the remainder of the week i just got things i gotta really accomplish and get done january is coming in hot y'all i got major to do's things i'm really looking forward to and yeah this is really going to be a busy year for me a lot is going on this year a lot of special events and different things and so i'm really excited and this year i'm really 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 pushing myself to be intentional and just elevate all areas of my life so yeah if you haven't checked out my plan with me video my 2024 plan with me video and if you haven't checked out my faith-based um real chit chat video Y'all need to check out those two videos that I posted before this one and and then come back and watch the remainder of this weekly vlog. So time is of the essence, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get me a cup of coffee, go upstairs. I'm going to put my headscarf on to lay down the edges and yeah, get to get get to work because I've been on vacation. Yeah. All right, y'all, I'm upstairs. I got my coffee in my cute Starbucks um, South Korea mug that my friend Joy got me for Christmas. So shout out to you, Joy. I absolutely love it. And I just broke my um, intermittent fasting with some Greek yogurt. I don't have anything in the yogurt. It's just very plain. But I'm really, really trying to do a better job this year of breaking my fast with healthy fat, and just healthy foods it's been a struggle for me like like last year was like that's when I really got into my fasting journey and I kind of talk about it in previous vlogs if you want to check that out I have a whole playlist with all my vlogs and if you want to catch up with all my previous past vlogs that I filmed on my YouTube channel make sure you check out that playlist it's just called vlogs and then I also have my grad school journey vlogs um kind of where I just been I was vlogging my where I was vlogging my whole grad school experience so that's on a separate playlist so if you go on my homepage on my YouTube channel you will see all the different playlists that I have here on my channel for different videos so if you're ever looking for a particular video on my channel they're going to be on the on the playlist so maybe just check out the playlist uh, tab on my channel so I just wanted to put that out there so y'all can 
check out my previous videos so I'm about to write out my daily to-do list on this notebook this is really old I got this off of Amazon a year ago and I actually ordered me another one so I'm gonna have that basically I might bring that one to work or I might bring this to work but I'm really gonna be very uh you know intentional because that's my word for 2024 is intentional being very intentional every single day and trying to accomplish the goals that I set out like last year i felt like i was in my lazy girl era even though my friend leticia literally reassured me yesterday she was like you say that you didn't do enough or you didn't do anything or you didn't do enough but she said you do so much and i was like thank you for reassuring me there were certain goals that i felt like i made for myself personally that i did not give 110 percent. so this year i'm giving it my all i'm being intentional every single day I need to get work done. I need to be productive if I want to see changes in my life and see progress. So I'm literally rambling on with this headscarf on. So I apologize for the headscarf, but I gotta lay my edges down. And I just feel like I haven't vlogged in a, in a, in a minute. So it feels good to vlog and just like, you know, talk to y'all. So anyways, y'all, let me go ahead and actually get some work done. And I will check back in before I leave. I don't know. I'll check back in pretty soon. All right, y'all. It is 12.23 p.m. And I'm about to head out with my sister to go to lunch. And yeah, just have like a little sister lunch date. And so yeah, that's what we're that's what I'm about to do now. She's on her way home and I was able to get a lot of emails done. I thought I had like more emails to answer, but I really didn't. They were just like really lengthy ones. It took me a while to like actually read and take my time in responding efficiently to the emails. So that's why yeah, it took me I thought I had more, but I guess I didn't so that was a good thing so yeah I'm about to head out to lunch with my sister we're gonna have like a little sister date I'm probably just gonna vlog on my phone because honestly my phone quality camera quality is amazing and I just really don't feel like bringing my whole camera because it's just like we're just going out to lunch and coming back home after lunch with my sister I am gonna head over to my friend Stephanie house because we are planning a you know a friend trip just me or her we've never been on like we've been places together but we've never been like out of state with one another we've been friends since we were in the fourth grade y'all like she's my childhood best friend y'all and you know I love her so much and she just we've been through a lot with one another and so we just never been on a trip and I feel like we were like you know what let's just go somewhere out of state and like we ne where we never like been with each other and just explore and just have like a just like a girl's you know a girl's trip you know so I'm gonna go over her house and we're gonna plan that for this year and I'm super excited y'all just to I'm gonna be traveling I told myself even if it's in the United States I want to travel more and do more and just explore different places so yes good morning y'all today is tuesday and i am working today from 9 a.m to 12 and then i'm gonna go to the coffee shop yesterday I think I left off where I was having lunch with my sister. After that, I came home, did a little bit of editing for my YouTube video that is actually pub is scheduled to publish or upload today. And that's going to be a faith-based chit-chat video. So if you haven't watched that video, make sure you check that out. And then I went over to my friend Stephanie's house and we planned for our trip april super excited for that so we just we booked our plane ticket and got that situated and then i just came home got stuff to got myself together and hit the bed 
after doing some pre-planning for our trip, I came home and went to bed, y'all. So here I am. I've been up since 6 a.m. I'm trying this new morning routine. I'm trying, not trying, yeah, I will say I'm trying to have a set morning routine that I can stick with, you know, every single day or at least Monday through Friday. And so far it was good. I woke up at 6. I'm trying to wake up earlier and earlier. My goal is to wake up every morning, Monday through Friday at 4.30 a.m. to pray, to spend time with God, and just to get in the habit of waking up early, starting my day early so I have enough time to get things done. So, so far I woke up at 6. That, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's going to take me two or three weeks to really try to have a set schedule, but I woke up at 5.45, got out the bed at 6, got up, made me some tea, prayed, uh, did my devotional, read a chapter of the book of John because I'm reading the book of John this month in the Bible, got, took a shower, and here I am. So <laughs> I feel really good and I'm making good time. So I'm about to head out and go to work. I'm only like 30 minutes away, so that's a good thing. Going to work, I got to stop at the store and I'm going to go to the coffee shop, do some work, and then go to the gym. And get my steps in, get a good workout in, and then come home and do some more things and some more work. So that is kind of my Tuesday, y'all. I'm back in my productivity era, and I just feel really, really good. So yeah, I just want to check in. I'm going to be vlogging on my phone for the remainder of the day because I'm really going to be working. And yeah, I'm just going to be on the move, so I'm just going to capture some stuff while I'm out and about. So yeah, let's start this busy, productive Tuesday. morning y'all happy wednesday today is january the 10th and yesterday i did a horrible job of vlogging literally i tried to vlog i tried to vlog on my phone but it was like i was getting distracted and yesterday was so busy at work that like i couldn't even get i didn't have like no downtime and i was like okay well 
I tried. <laughs> and then I went to the coffee shop and I got some work done. I helped my sister with her resume and I was able just to get some just some things done at the coffee shop. So that was good. After the coffee shop, I went to the gym. I just did two I just walked two miles and then got in the sauna. Then came home, ate dinner, and literally chilled out for the remainder of the evening and then I went to bed. So here I am this morning. I woke up up around 5 30 like I did yesterday I didn't really get out the bed bed because um, I kind of like stared at the <laughs> stared at the ceiling I was like okay Desiree come on get out get yourself out the bed so I got myself out the bed around six o'clock going to a workout class before work this morning it starts at 9 15 it's a barbell class love that class it's like a strength kind of barbell strength class so like you're working with like the actual weight bar and you do some dumbbell works and all that stuff so i'm going to that class that's for like an hour i start work a little later today i'm only working three hours a day so that's cool i i ain't complain at all <laughs> so i'm not working a full day because it's technically not the full semester yet so it's technically we're working winter hours so which is really good so after work today, I plan to go have dinner with my coworker. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna go get some food and just like catch up because we haven't seen each other since December or early or mid December. So we're gonna do some checking. That's what my day's plan is looking like for today. I'm going to do a lot better of, at vlogging today because like I was like what happened yesterday? Yesterday, I think I was just so focused on getting my to dos and getting things done that I just I kind of forgot that I was vlogging this week but anyway no excuses that is my that is my motto this year like no excuses make it happen even if I didn't do a very good job of something the day before today's a new day start it again and just keep pushing a big part of me just um, being intentional this year for 2024 I really really want to set a set morning routine and so I want to talk to you all about that because I feel like if any of you all are like me I don't know y'all can comment down below if you all just struggle having a consistent morning routine like I literally like I just I do things I like making up my bed I, I that's a habit that I have adapt it every single day like I make up my bed every single day maybe like one day out of the week I don't make it up but every single day I'm really really intentional at making my bed and so I'm brushing my teeth and getting dressed okay those are like the those are like the most common things right but having a set morning routine that is curated to, towards your life and your goals and what you're trying to accomplish so you know, for me this year, one of my goals that I mentioned in my plan with me video for 2024 is to be more spiritually disciplined and to draw closer to God and abiding in God in, in every single day looks like praying to him consistently, reading, reading my Bible, which I got my Bible right here. I got my new Bible journal or my new journal for 2024. Well, I started this back in 2020. And so since then, I have had a journal every single year and I can like open those journals and like I call them like my prayer journals and just like my thought journals like my everything journal like everything I'll be writing my thoughts my life but everything my you know my goals my dreams I just like vent in these journals right and I look back I like my other journals I'm like wow how far have I came and so that's why I love getting a journal a prayer journal every single year because when I look back at like the things that I prayed for are the things that I asked God for to do a work in my life or, you know, just anything. Or if I prayed for a family member and God did a work in their life and I just see like, wow, me consistently praying, um, journaling and doing the work like really works, you know, so it is really beneficial. I got my cute little prayer journal for 2024 abiding in god every single day is consisting of praying and doing your devotional and reading your bible and just being consistent um and re um and and being consistent in seeking relationship with him you know and so that's where i'm at um in my life and that's where i'm at in my life really seeking God like never before because I don't want to be lukewarm I need to be on fire for God in all areas of my life and I have just been 
so convicted and that's what I talked about in my faith chit chat video if you haven't checked that out I'll make sure to put the card to that video yeah I really want to have a set morning routine right and I feel like that's something I have struggled for years is having a set morning routine where I do the same thing um, consistently or repetitively every single day right at least Monday through Friday you know especially when I'm going to work and I'm busy so therefore one of my intentions this year is to have a set morning and night routine and I feel like having a set morning morning and night routine is going to be game changer and I'm going to pop up this uh the podcast that I've been listening listening to like every single day or every other day since I found it and it's the Mel Robbins podcast and she literally dropped a podcast um episode this Monday talking about the eight steps are the eight ways you should how you can have an effective morning routine and like she talked about how there's a lot of people who are millionaires and and people who are just influential are just who are billionaires or people who are runs business people who are like you know oprah blah 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 and she talked about to be great and to see and to reach greatness you need to have a set morning routine like how are you going to accomplish your goals how are you going to conquer the day if you don't have a set morning routine if you don't have a set productivity kind of like morning routine to start your day or to start the trajectory of your day and I was like that's game changer yeah yeah and I was like mm, yeah Mel yeah Mel you you said it you said it girl like how are you going to reach your full potential if you're not being consistent like are if you're not like if you don't have like a routine, like you're always like doing something like that's a routine for you and it's working for you and it's like putting you is is setting you up for success, if that makes sense. After listening to that podcast, I was like, OK, this is the little push I need to really to really put into play, um, play around this week with us, you know, doing the same thing every morning and being consistent. So this is going to be my morning routine, you know, so. This is day three of my morning routine, and I've been waking up early. I've been waking up every day so far at 5.30. I've been waking up, getting dressed, making up my bed, and um, reading my Bible, like one chapter of uh, the book of John, because this month I'm reading the book of John, and then I'm doing a little bit of journaling. I'm just spending a long time with God, so I have some time that I'm doing that, and then I'm working out, and then I'm going to work. Next week, I'm going to work on my night routine. That's where I'm really going to focus on my night routine, and how can I have like a set night routine um, where I kind of maybe do three or four things that's going to set me up for success to wake up early in the morning. Anyways, y'all, I'm just working on my morning routine this week because that's what I need to work on. I need to be intentional with my morning routine and having a set morning routine is what I am focused on. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and spend some alone time with God, pray, drink my black coffee and head out and get a good workout in. So I will check in with you all probably after the gym when I am headed to work. Good morning y'all. Today is Thursday and I just parked um, at my job and I start work at 9. It's currently 8.20. I feel like I'm not like really awake awake right now. Like I still feel very drowsy and just not like not 100% like fully awake, fully energized. But I did go to the gym this morning. I took my I took a class, I took a barbell strength class, the same class that I took yesterday. And that class was at 5:45 a.m. and that was a really good class. It was an hour. 
or like 45 minutes yeah it was like an hour an hour class really really good class i feel so sore i'm like sore from yesterday but now i'm like really really sore right now like i feel it all in my body like i am just like my arms feel like jello right now like it really do and so i am just feeling a little sore like really 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 sore so my body is like okay girl you put it in work <laughs> so i thought i went to the gym today because i'm just really trying to be consistent with just like doing the things i set out to do and not making excuses for it right and so i was just proud that i woke up this morning at 4 a.m got myself together packed my gym bag and headed out so really really happy about that i was able to go to bed early yesterday i went to bed at like 9 30 i was like i'm tired i'm going to bed and so i literally had a great dinner with my co-worker tamara we just catched up and just like had amazing thai food the food was so good i love thai food it's like chef kiss <laughs> so it was a really great dinner and we just like able to catch up and stuff so that was really nice and so yeah um and then here i am the next day gym got dressed got dressed at the gym and everything and then here i am i did stop at pete's coffee to get me a cup of coffee because i really really need it the only thing is that they fill the coffee up to the tip top and so because of that, it like spills. I'll talk with y'all later. Sticky rice. Wait, what is it again? Mango, coconut milk, sticky rice. Okay. What's up y'all today is friday and i am all dressed because i'm about to head to a coffee shop well actually no i have to head to work a work training like it's kind of over zoom or whatever i'm gonna go to a coffee shop and get that done and then i'm gonna go to whole foods so i can go get some like you know just some healthy stuff i'm really on the hunt to find tomato basil soup like i, I just i thought whole foods have it or no i looked it up whole foods do have it but when i went to sprouts a week ago they didn't have it so i'm really trying to get some some soup in my system also eating eating tomato basil soup is really healthy or like vegetable soup and so that's what i'm going to kind of be eating like soup the next few days um be also because i'm trying to really like work on my diet and just like i'm trying to stay away from like fried food really unhealthy foods and so so far i've been doing really good this is day three of my 20 hour fast or 20 hour fasting so i did two days so far of 20 hour fast and then today is going to be my third day of doing a 20 hour fast so i feel amazing i feel great I just feel I look, feel super energized and so yeah I feel really good I woke up this morning made up my bed I've been really consistent with my morning routine y'all so I'm super proud of myself I did my I read two chapters um, in the book of John in the Bible and then I prayed I did my devotional and I just feel so good I just like ugh, I just feel I feel really good just like having a routine and starting my day with talking to the Lord is just such a healthy just a healthy thing that i'm really trying to implement and also you know just it's game changer when it comes to drawing closer to god and just my spiritual glow up you know what i'm saying christian girl glow up <laughs> so i just feel really good and i feel very just i feel good i feel really good and i'm just very i'm feeling very happy and blessed this week i don't know this week has been a really good week for me so I'm gonna show y'all my little casual outfit. So this is my outfit. I just I'm just wearing some like black kind of wide uh wide pants leggings, and then I'm wearing this sweater, this chunky sweater that I got from Old Navy, and then this vest that I think I got from I don't even know H and M. Oh no, I got this from like Nasty Gal. I don't know. It was like two years old. It's two years old or something like that. So yeah, and then I'm just wore my hair in a slick 
kind of bun up high with a few little edge, little baby edges in the front. <laughs> I was just trying to like just put it up because I really don't have time for my hair being down. Also, I'm kind of in this new phase now as I'm trying to really elevate my style and just you know just elevate my whole style I'm really kind of going towards the like more slick back buns not too tight though because I need to keep my edges I'm just trying to do that until I get my hair done but I'm really trying to prioritize like you know when I step outside I'm looking very I'm looking cute even though I'm just going to work in a coffee shop for a little bit I look good I feel good and so I, I'm doing this you know do it for me so when I step outside I feel good and I look good because honestly y'all every time I step outside I'm running into somebody mm-hmm yeah so anyways y'all let me go y'all happy saturday i am up and at it i'm about to head to the gym in a few minutes so as you see i'm breaking my fast with some blueberries and some coffee and yeah i'm about to head to my workout class today is my barbell strength class about this about the that's like the main class i only go to when i go to this particular gym i go to the barbell strength class i mean i have been going to that class consistently for a few months now except for december because my sister we put the gym membership on hold but yeah i'm back and i feel so good this week has been such a good week in terms of me setting new routines me being consistent and me just having a really good perspective um you know just moving forward for this year so i feel really really good this week was a really good really productive week and so yesterday i went to the coffee shop well i went to work for a little bit went to the coffee shop and then i was able to get majority of the things i wanted to get done in terms of this particular assignment <laughs> i needed to get done and um because i wanted one of my mentors to look at it for work so she looked at it she gave me some really good feedback because i'm not gonna lie at the coffee shop i was so stuck on what to say what to write what to do for this particular project and i was like okay I, I need help okay I need help so she helped me and I'm so grateful and thankful to her because it was really it was really insightful and so I'm gonna um, apply her feedback and work on that today my main thing is working on that particular project that I is really important that I do extremely extremely well on this particular thing so yeah that's one of the main goals today is working on that because I'm going to send it to my other she's like my mentor I call her my mentor because she has really been just uh she's been mentoring me in this in my field in my career in this particular career as a community college counselor for like a two a year or two now so i'm, I'm really appreciative of her so i call her my mentor so i'm going to send to my mentor tonight or early morning so then she can look at it tomorrow and then give me feedback also on today's agenda i need to clean the finish clean the bathroom i started a little bit um this morning and then i need to do one more load of clothes i also need to fold clothes but i'm gonna save that for tomorrow for my little sunday reset because child i doing it today ain't gonna work i have to focus on this particular thing also i want to do some editing for youtube and some video planning for my youtube channel so that is the game plan for today a pretty productive but kind of chill saturday it's really rainy and gloomy today which i'm kind of liking the vibes i really like i actually like it so it's 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 giving january vibes winter vibes and i love it like i mentioned earlier in this vlog i really 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 want to have a set morning routine and really stick with that right and so I think having a routine is crucial, you know, to your life, to your lifestyle, and just having structure in your life. I feel like we live in a very chaotic, overwhelming world, and, you know, we go through so many things as humans and just a lot of things, and I think, you know, having structure in your life is just really important. And also just, like, spending time, you know, whatever your belief is, whatever your religion is, but 
I'm a Christian, so spending time with the Lord has been so, has just been so game changer into my morning routine. Like, it's like, I'm like, I I need to have, I first of all, I need to seek the Lord every single day and every hour and every, 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 every chance I get within the day, right? If it's speaking to him in my heart, in my mind, right? And so just having a set morning routine and incorporating my devotional in the morning, um, praying in the morning, reading my Bible in the morning has been so beneficial. And like, you know, this month I'm reading the book of John and it's just like, when you read the Bible, it be, <laughs> child, I was like, Jesus be snapping. And the Bible really be good. The Bible is so good. It's like the Bible give us examples on how we should handle life and how we should handle certain situations. And I'm just reading the book of John, which is about you know Jesus and all the miracles he has he did when he was here on earth and how he turned water into wine and how you know he uh did a bunch of miracles and how you know he's trying to tell people like i am the bread of life i'm i'm the spiritual bread like i am the one who's going to give you internal life if you believe in me but anyway just read the book of john it's so good if you're a christian and even if you're not if you're curious i definitely recommend reading the bible because it really reading the bible really you understand Reading the Bible is a chance for you to understand God for yourself and understand God's character, um, his son, Jesus, his life, and, you know, just all the things that he went through and his sacrifice, his blood that was shed for our sins. And so it was just really, really, it's just been really just game changer. And this is like week two of January, and I'm just so glad that I am becoming more spiritually disciplined i'm glad that god has continued to do a work in my heart and yeah i just feel like even though you know there's certain things in my life that's not perfect you know there's a lot of things going on right and and i but i think that you have to see the beauty of you know where you're at in life right now and just be grateful and thankful for where you're at because your situation could be way worse you know and so i'm just grateful and thankful and i just i just try to have a more grateful and thankful heart every single day when i wake up because i'm just i'm thankful for my health i'm thankful for my family um and you know i'm just i'm thankful and so incorporating you know God into my routine the first thing in the morning the first thing when I wake up has been a game changer for me and so if you all are looking to draw closer to God you know have a set morning routine and because it's really key it's really key so that was a little tangent but it's really been beneficial and I really have been you know just in a good place because I feel like I've been talking to God more than ever because I'm like, I want to draw closer to him. So he's been sustaining me, my emotions. He's been work, doing a work in me. And I think that just, that's the goal this year, right? Is to be better than I was yesterday, the day before, last year, and to continue to draw closer to God. Because when you draw closer to God, he's going to do a work in your life. And so that's what I'm doing. And I can already see some changes within myself in my perspective and it feels really good all right y'all let me stop talking drink this coffee eat these blueberries and head out to the gym because it's gonna be a good workout class and i'm super excited and i will chit chat with y'all a little later so yeah let's get this saturday started <laughs> All right, y'all, it's much later in the day. I finished cleaning the bathroom. I took a nice hot shower, did my hair, letting the curls flourish a little bit. And I've been sitting here for a good, I would say, hour just working on this project that I'm working on. And so I've been doing that. 
and yeah so i've been working on that and uh, just trying to get my thoughts together i feel like i had writer's block yesterday so i just could not figure out what i wanted to write or what i wanted to put on this particular project and the thing that i'm working for working on so i just had to like just start fresh today so uh, i'm glad that i had a good workout today went to the gym cleaned the bathroom and now i am you know finishing up what i need to do i'm not doing much for the remainder of this saturday so i'm just gonna go ahead and end today's vlog i really hope you all enjoyed this weekly vlog the first weekly vlog of 2024 many more vlogs many more videos to come if you haven't already done so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like my content and this is the content that resonate with you make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you are notified of when i post new videos and yeah i'll see you all in the next one bye